Welcome back everyone, I'm The Depressed Dior and this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Let's uh, let's dive right into this. So we'll be playing as Jaden again. And uh, get this going. So we're fighting Jesse again. Oh great, we're fighting freaking Jesse again. Alright. Not the person I want to fight. He was the one that used all the crystal nonsense, which Jaden was not very good with. And of course, suddenly my deck becomes shitty. <laughs> Alright, I'll look at this. Uh, so I have Rainbow Neos, which requires Rainbow Dragon, Rainbow Dark Dragon, Neos. It's 4500 attack. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Hummingbird and Dolphin. That's... Oh, sorry. Neos, Hummingbird, and Dolphin. Never mind. Uh, okay, yeah, it's it's very similar to what we had before. It's wanting us to use Neo Spatians for whatever reason. Probably because the game hates me. Alright. Once per turn, you can get 500 life points for each car uh, card in your opponent's hand, so I can get 2,500 right off the bat. Discard one card, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck, using monsters from either side of the field as fusion materials. Uh... Okay, uh, equip only to a fusion monster at list Elemental Hero Neos as a fusion monster. It does not activate its effect. Okay, so it's a way to lock it and keep it from returning to your hand. Okie dokie. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out you. I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. Just give myself 2,500 uh, hit points. Or life points, I guess is what they're called in this game. I'm doing this in hope that I might get some fusion materials from Jesse, but I don't think I'm gonna get what I need. Nope. Okay, I have a lightning vortex. It's not great, but I have one. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and just tank the next hit and see what happens. Okay, double Crystal Beast. I'm going to take 3200, which is going to bring me down to 6100. Alright, I have Swords of Revealing Light. I'm going to go ahead and bring that out. Alright, we have a little bit of time. Alright, so I have Neos. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't, yeah, I don't get this card. Uses monsters on either side of the field. Okay, so I'm guessing it's just going to be using my stuff. Uh, Alright. I'm going to go ahead and wait things for now. I have the time, so I might as well. Oh, that's a different one. Oh, I see. So the Rainbow Dark Dragon, Rainbow Dark Dragon, is uh, something he is going to have. Uh, all Crystal Beast monsters on the field on the field in the graveyard become dark. If Rainbow Dragon or Rainbow Dark Dragon attacks, negate the effects of the attack targets 
attack, uh, the effects of the attack target during the battle phase. Uh, during ga damage calculation of Crystal Beast Monster, you control battles and you would take damage. You can send one Crystal Beast Monster from your deck to the graveyard and take no battle damage. That's a problem. Okay. So at this point, I need to do something, because if I don't, I will die. So let's go ahead and do that. Lightning Vortex. I'm going to discard Neos. Oh, it only affects face-up monsters. Oops. Well, it's still a start. And then I'll put you face down. No, I don't want to put you face down, because I will die. Well, might die. So yeah, I kind of screwed that up. I, I forgot Lightning Vortex. I didn't read Lightning Vortex correctly. It only does face up monsters. Not that it really matters at this point. Hero Neo Neos El Elias. This card is treated as a normal monster while face up on the field or in the graveyard. While this monster target card is a normal monster on the field, you can normal summon it to have it be an effect monster with this effect. It becomes an elemental Neos while on the field. Okay. Alright, so first things first, I want this dead. I want this dead. I actually need, but I'm just gonna take a card. Yeah, not helpful. Alright. Go ahead and summon this for now. I don't really need multiple elemental hero neoses at the moment. That's what I figured. I'm gonna send one into the graveyard, that's fine. So yeah, I'm in deep trouble. Uh, Pretty much he, he, he can one turn me, which I'm pretty sure he's going to do next round, because he has plenty of cards. Or not. Okay, Dolphin. Let's look this over again. This thing. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set this monster for this round. Ok, 
Okay. You're gonna attack my face down, monster. Of course you are. Rainbow Dragon! Oh. Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned by having seven crystal beast cards with different names on your field or in your graveyard. And can't be special summoned by other ways. This one card cannot activate its effects of the turn it is summoned. During each of your player's turn, you can send all crystal beast monsters you control to the graveyard, and this thing just gets super powered. And you can also banish all crystal monsters in your graveyard to shuffle all cards in the, on the field into the deck. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this super polymerization. Once again, his deck revolves around using... Jaden's bullshit. <laughs> so, um, I, I'm just gonna get rid of contact out. Okay, so he has abilities as well. Gets out another rainbow dragon. Okay, so he has multiple rainbow dragons. During each player's turn, you can send all Crystal Beast monsters you control to the graveyard. Okay. This thing's gonna have 2500 attack. Send Starful all monsters your opponent controls into the deck. Okay, so yeah, I'll do this. All these are pretty important, but it's not the end of the world. Send one monster you control to, to the graveyard, stuff all monsters your opponent controls. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to do that. But at the same time, yeah, I did this in the wrong order. skip so once again I'm as long as I don't summon that rainbow dragon I might be okay <laughs> all right reverse duel like who makes a deck like that it's like a, it's like if Yugi Moto was fighting Kaiba and made a deck that only would work if as long as Kaiba summoned a, mo a certain type of monster Rainbow dragons. I don't say. When an opponent declare a uh, monster declares an attack, send one crystal beast card from your spell or trap and trap zone to the graveyard to target the attack it monster and negate the attack. Then you can add rainbow dragons to your all that nonsense. All right. So he only has this field card. And, so in other words, Jesse is learning from Jaden by making his deck worse. 
Okay, so I'll go ahead and bring this out. Okay, so the reason why he wasn't negating attacks is it only works if he's taking damage when I, due to a combat between Crystal and Beast. So, good to know. Go ahead and flip some on this. Ah, didn't matter. So battle damage is negated for this round. And Jaden does have Swords of Revealing Light. He also has Lightning Vortex, which I completely forgot about. Uh, much the same. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, yeah, he did the same thing I did. I might be in trouble. We'll go another round and see what happens, but I don't think I can survive long enough to do the combos. So he summoned Neos again, which actually was beneficial uh, because it actually gets the buff from the uh, from the Neos phase. Yeah, I'm dead this round. Alright, let's try this again. I mean, I honestly had a really shitty starting hand. I had two rainbow dragons right off the bat, which are completely dead in my hand. And once again, I started with one, which is not great. I do have terraforming, so that's something. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Okay. So we'll do this. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out this. Alright, so that's in my hand. Just put that one there. Yep. Let's hope he bricks, because that's all I can only hope for. Seriously? Oh, there's a dark dragon in my hand. Oh, 
Alright, give me one round. Just give me one round. Let me end this in three rounds. Or four rounds. Uh, okay. You're just gonna activate that to heal. That's fine. Alright. I'm not gonna complain, because this deck would have been a pain to actually do normally. Alright, Return of the Supreme King. Alright, we're up against you, Bell. I'm assuming I have Rainbow Dragon and Rainbow Dark Dragon in my deck now. Element, one elemental hero monster plus one dark monster must be fusion summoned. Blah blah blah. This card gains a hunter attack for each elemental hero monster in the graveyard. Discoradio. Discoradio. Alright. Wonderful. Alright, so I have fake he hero. Do I have something that works with this? Avian and Buster Natrix? Yes, I do, actually. I can do this combo. So, I do have an option. I'm going to wait. I'm going to do Fake Hero. Do a regular summon. And then do a Super Polymerization. I think that's what I'm going to do. My, but I don't want to open with that because that will just give you Bell a time, an uh, opportunity to kill it. Mystic Tomato. I haven't seen that in forever. Alright, well you're going to be a little bit of a pain. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll do Fake Hero. Oh, I can actually do it with Neos. I should probably check to see if there's anything I can do with Neos. I don't think there is. Doing Rook Rack Break. I have to discard a card from my hand. Uh, I'm gonna do Neos. This was actually not what I was intending on summoning, but I will take it. So the attack missed because I killed the monster for her. Oh, hello, you bell. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. You take no battle damage from from battles involving this card. But before damage calculation, when this face-up monster attack monster is in is attacked by an opponent's monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's attack during your end phase. Tribute one other monster or destroy this card. When this card is destroyed, except by its own effect, its owner can special summon uh, one U Bell Terror Incarnate from their hand, deck, or graveyard. When this is destroyed, except by its own effect. During your in Oh, during your in phase. That's a problem.
Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just not fam Oh! Alright, I'm gonna see what happens. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna make this happen. Yubel is dead, which means, but not by her own effect, so she's going to activate somehow. Okay. Probably didn't work the way I wanted to, but it did something, I guess. Um, I don't really know much about Yubel. I there's the there's the other Yu-Gi-Oh game that's like a smaller version of the game essentially uh, that a lot of people have been playing, um, but I don't know how it works. And I've seen Yubel a few times on it. Bad news is is I pretty much dumped everything to kind of prevent that from happening. Because if I if the torrential tribute had gone off without me doing that, uh, Yubel would have done whatever that incarnate thing was. So what I did was I killed her ahead of time, so if she did it, it would she would summon Incarnate, and then the Torrential Tribute would trigger and kill it again. Problem is, of course, is I don't really have a way to stop her from doing this. <laughs> But she has nothing to tribute, so the U-Bells are just being wasted, which is good. Negate one attack from one monster, you must control a face. Okay, I will take that. Also, the Call of the Haunted staying out because of the, um, I, I, I didn't actually destroy it normally. I did this weird fusion tribute thing, which kind of bugs it out for some reason. Okay, that's fine. Not the best, but it's fine. Alright, I have Rainbow Dragon, which... Yeah, Polymerization can work with it. Ah, uh, you're back. Oh, I will... I can't do anything. I can't do anything about that, Yubel. Alright, well, she stumped her hand. Oh, she's not going to stick around. That's fine, I guess. I don't have a solution. If I can get another avian, I can I can play around with something here. But right now, I don't have much to play around with. So yeah, I'm going to wait. And, uh... Alright, so now you brought that back out. There's you, Bell Terra Incarnate. Chaos End Master. Alright. Let's find out what this thing is, because it was, she was trying to get it out earlier. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. You take no battle damage involving this card. Before damage calculation, when this face up attack monster is attack, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack. So it reflects. During your in phase, destroy all other monsters on the field. When this face up card leaves the field, you can special summon Ultimate Nightmare from your deck. Good times. Uh, let's see. When this face up. Okay, so it doesn't matter if she attacks with it, that doesn't actually do, do anything. Uh, I have to bring out a monster. So, we'll see what happens. I'm probably going to die. Alright. 
I'm maybe dead. The only reason I'm not giving up right now is she doesn't have any cards. Yep, that will kill me. Alright. So I think in the future I'll probably just let you both stay out, because she's not that dangerous. I didn't really know much about her. Or her other forms. But at least I got to goof around with some cards. I mean, I messed up a, bu a bunch of stuff in this, so... It is what it is. Yeah, so she's purposely putting stuff in, his gr in her graveyard so she can summon it out. Uh... Prisma. Once per turn, you can reveal one fusion monster from your extra deck, then send one fusion monster, fusion material, one of the fusion materials listed on that card from your main deck to the graveyard. This card's name becomes the sent monster until the end of phase. Okay, so I see what she, what it can do. All right. So this thing just does piercing. No, it doesn't do piercing, it just sent, it does damage equal to the attack of the monster. Okay. Alright, so what I'll do here is do this. I'm gonna go ahead and do polymerization and get this started. Attack position. I'll go ahead and bring out Prisma. Okay. So I'm gonna do this with uh, Flame Wingman. 700 damage plus another 1400. I'm going to bring you out. I know you're coming. Okay. I'm not going to attack again because that's dumb. Turn. Uh, you can discard one dark monster and send one dark monster to the graveyard. Okay. All right. Negate one attack from my in monster opponent's monster. You must control a face up hero monster. Blah 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 blah. Is there anything I want to do? I do kind of want to keep it around, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Okay, so she's not going to tribute for that, for whatever reason. Okay, during your end phase, if you control no spell or trap cards, you can special summon this card from your graveyard in face-up attack position. This card's controller takes a thousand damage. Uh, during each of their standby phases. Why would you do that? Like, why? Why would you do that? Okay. Uh, I think I can do this? Yes, I can. I'm gonna activate Hero Prisma. And I'm going to pick Rainbow Neos. Pick Neos in there. And you to the graveyard. So now you are an elemental hero, Nero, Neo. So I'm going to do polymerization. Put 
you put you out. And attack position. Okay. Uh, once per turn, you can activate one of these effects. Send one card from the top of your graveyard deck to your graveyard. Shuffle all cards in your opponent's graveyard into the deck. I don't know what that's going to possibly do, but I want to do that. Okay. That's been taken care of. Let's do battle phase. There you go. Yay! Use the worlds together! Blah 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 blah! Oh great! So supposedly this uh, demon character is someone you can actually play as in the other thing. Anyway, let's uh, switch to her. Or him. I guess it's both. Alright, destroy deck. Alright, let's go you bell. I did see like a footage of Jaden going up against uh, Yami Yugi, and supposedly Yubel is like part of Jaden or some nonsense now. Let's grab one card, then target one card on the field, destroy it. If a monster attacks at the end of the damage step, its controller gains 300 life points. All monsters must attack if able. That's an interesting little card. Uh, during each end phase, destroy all face-up attack monsters. The player, uh, turn player controls that did not declare an attack. Oh wow, already already going all in here. how this is going to work. Alright, I'm going to bring you up in face-up attack mode. We'll see. We'll, we'll play. We'll see what this will do for us. Your standby phase, select one random card from your opponent's hand. Call the type of card, monster. If you call it right, inflict 700 points of damage to your opponent's life points. You can use this effect once per turn. Huh, I wonder what's in his hand right now. Alright, so what I want to do here is actually I'm going to play Savage Colosseum. I'm not going to attack with you, Bell. Okay. 
And I don't have anything else to play around with. I don't know what it's faced out. I, uh, can I have activate it now? During my standby phase. Okay, so I can just reveal it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, just to get that out of the way. Alright, now I know you have two monsters in your hand. again. Oh, he has to attack. <laughs> this is awesome. You just get 300 hit points back every time, but... monster. So I have to attack if I do attack with her. Not that it's a big deal. Yeah, this is actually a, a neat little combo, isn't it? I'm just going to do this and yeah pretty much when this attack uh yeah it doesn't work if I'm the one attacking so that's why I'm just doing this to negate the battle damage it does give me free health so I definitely don't mind Fast forward the rest of this. Bring out your bell. And you killed yourself. Alright, good stuff. Uh, this video is going on a bit long, but I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, alternate nap match. Like I said, I don't really remember this. So I play as a no normal duel. Skip. Destroy deck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we haven't done this one. You can tribute one monster to do damage. You can have this card gain a border attack. This card cannot attack the turn you activate this effect. Sure. Now it's do a thousand attack. Good for it. I don't even look at my extra deck. Well, that's terrifying. Alright. Oh, it's the fusion type stuff. Labyrinth Shank, Psychroids. So we want to hold on to the Giga Tech Wolf and the Cannon Soldier. Yeah, some of these are just regular tributes, unfortunately. Uh, and then we got all these fancy dragons. 
two normal monsters must be fusion summoned and cannot be special summoned up any other way. Okay. And then machine type. Okay, so I need to get some polymerizations going. Alright, uh, so negate the effects of that face-up monster while it's on the field. Also, it cannot attack. Okay, so I'm locked down. I think we've done this fight before. It does definitely feel a little familiar, but that was like months ago. I mean, it was probably back when I like recorded 30 of these at a time. Alright, Dust Tornado. That's something I can work with. I'm gonna go ahead and summon another Blazing Impachi. Alright, looks like you don't have another chain ready. I did lose the 400 attack, unfortunately, but that's okay. So, 3,700, okay, not quite enough to kill. I do have Rush Reckless Slave, but that's by itself is not enough. So yeah, we'll just go uh, battle phase. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go here. I'm gonna go ahead and buff him again. Get him up to 2,000, just in case. Off the haunted. Call the haunted. Then they. Okay, so you're gonna do this. Ancient gear golem. Yep. All right. Oh, and also, when he attacks, I can't activate spell or trap cards. Okay, good to know. But only when he's attacking. Okay. Do a fusion shade. Oh wow, I can do this. 2800 attack. What's this one do? Alright, so I can do Labyrinth Tank. What's this one? Oh, Machine Type with Pyro. Yeah, let's just get out of Labyrinth Tank, even though it's the worst one, because it has no effects. Seriously? that okay okay so yeah we have finished all of these duels so that was Yu-Gi-Oh GX and I think I probably got access to a bunch of new cards I'm guessing I haven't even bothered like buying any more cards I'll worry about that later 
All right, so let's take a quick look at what our next campaign's gonna be. Uh, five Ds. Looks like it's a pretty long one too. And then Zexel's here. And of course, Arc V only has not much. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video. And uh, when we come back, we will start 5Ds. Uh, I'm thinking 5Ds is going to introduce tuners, um, which is a different, I guess, a weird, different way of doing fusions that require tuner monsters. But uh, anyway, I'm the Depressed Dior, Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. See you guys later.